Hi, I'm Whitney from All My Crafts, and today I would like to show you a few techniques on how to use stencils um, as masks on your paper product. All right, the first thing that we will be doing is we are going to use paint dabbers um, and a vinyl stencil to create this image. So I went ahead and pre-cut a butterfly, and this is All My Crafts vinyl, and you can see that it um, has an adhesive side and it's very easy to peel off and so you just place it on your page and it sticks and now this is a Jenny Bolin paint dabber which is awesome um, because it has this foam tip that you can use to press the, the paint on and now what I did ahead of time was I shook it it says to shake well so that you get all the chemicals mixed in and then you just go ahead and you dab the paint on. And you can go and you can uh, make it thicker or different colors if you would like. And then typically you would have it wait, um, wait for a little bit and have it dry. But for time's sake, I'm going to peel it off. Carefully try not to get wet paint on the inside. And there we have a butterfly. The next thing we will be doing is we will be using the Prima stencil. And when you buy this, it comes with a whole bunch of different shapes additionally. Um, and then we will just place this on our paper. And a way to get it to stick if you want so that it, the color doesn't seep through is you can spray it with spray adhesive. Um, that peels off easily and won't rip the paper. For today, I will just be placing it on here. And I'll be putting it in this box so that when I spray, it won't um, get all over, the, all over my table. And now the sprays that I'll be using, um, I will use two different kinds. This is the Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist Spray, and we have them in so many different colors. It is fun to use different shades or use drastic colors to create your own project. And then also, this is the um, Tim Holtz Adirondack Color Wash. And again, these come in tons of different colors. The appeal to these ones is um, they are um, darker. When you spray it on, it will show a very true color. These ones are a little lighter, um, but they also have the glimmer to it. So there are pros um, to both of them. They're awesome to use, and as I'm going to do right here, I'm going to use both of them. All right, so I'm going to take the color wash, and this is called Purple Twilight. I'm going to spray a few squirts. You can see that this is really dark. And then I'm going to use some of the Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. This is called Turquoise Blue. And the thing about um, the Glimmer Mist is they suggest not shaking them as you would normally think to do to get these uh, the glitter at the bottom um, all mixed up. Instead you're going to just twirl it like this. That way it prevents a whole bunch of bubbles from um, getting in, into the pipe that uses to um, that you use to spray out so that way it won't get clogged. All right. And I'll just add one more color. This is another tint of this blue. It's called Trunk Bay. All right. And now we're going to just use a paper towel and press it on here just to get that extra color. And then we can lift it up. And here we have another masked image. All right, the next mask we will be doing is this is using All oh My Crafts adhesive stencil material. And I just went ahead and I put it through the Sizzix um, Big Shot machine and I cut out um, this die cut. And so this is going to be our stencil. So you can create your own. You can use the Cricut machine to cut your own images out if you prefer or any other um, cutting machine. Or you can use scissors. So you can go ahead and peel off the stacking to reveal the stencil, uh, sticky part. Lay it on your paper. 
You don't need to press it down hard. And then this is a, um, a blending foam applicator tool. And I'm going to dab it on to, this is the Distre Tim Holtz Distress Ink Vintage Photo Ink Pad. And so you can um, then press this blending foam tool onto here and it creates a very nice finish to your project. The great thing about this mask is that you can see through it so you know what you are going to finish off, finish off with. You can go as dark or as light as you want. You can use different colors. You can have a solid background or a patterned background as this one is. Okay, so here we have this and then you can just carefully peel off your stencil. There's another way to do a mask. Now lastly, this was done using Faber-Castell watercolor pencils. And what's cool about this is what I did was I just went ahead and colored in this stencil using these markers and then with this paintbrush um, I took it off and I was I um, had the paintbrush wet and I went over my pencil marks and it created this beautiful finish on it. So this is another type of mask that's kind of fun to do. Well, I hope that was helpful for you to learn about how to use masks in different ways. Um, this was Whitney with Oh My Crafts. Have a great day.